Welcome, Virgo, to your Esther Oracle card reading. And for you, this week, I pulled Turtle, which is a number 10. And that is an initiating number. It drops down to 1, and it's an initiating number for you. And this card, the Turtle Medicine, represents patience. Taking things slowly. Not leaping into things quickly like the rabbit, but instead planting those seeds deeply into the earth of the things that you want. You're in a new cycle. It's a new beginning for you of some sort. But not everything is ready yet. Similar to how the turtle plants its seeds deep into the sand and waits for them to hatch. It's similar energy to what you are doing this week. You are planting the seeds for something new and you are creating a fertile ground for them but it's not time to manifest those or to harvest yet. And adding to that, your advice card is Hummingbird in Reverse. Now this is a 26, which breaks down to eight, and it, it repre eight represents reciprocal energy. It's two circles joined together. And so you've done your part, your circle is complete, and now it's time for spirit to take over. It's time for the higher power to put things into place so that your manifestation does occur. Sometimes when we are manifesting, we forget to let go and allow time for things to actually happen. When you hold on to a wish, desire, or goal for too long, there can be a resistance to it. And this week, everything you need is planted. The seeds have been planted. The ground is fertile. But it's not time yet for the growth to actually happen. It's not time yet for you to start off on this new journey, this new phase of your life. And for you, I pulled Moonstone as your mineral companion. And this tells me that you need to listen to your intuition this week. Moonstone is representative of the lunar consciousness or the subconsciousness in esoteric teachings. And that really is your intuition. It is your access to a higher power, to divinity. So pay attention to your dreams, to synchronicity this week. All the signs will be there to help guide you. Just be patient. They might not happen as fast as you like or as frequently as you like to confirm things as being a go. And that's because things aren't quite ready yet. So patience is the name of the game this week. You're not quite ready to fly like hummingbird. You have the wings. The wings are ready and you're testing them, but it's not time to leave the nest. And I did pull a clarifying card and that is the sage. And the sage says that you have the wisdom that you need to make the right decisions in order for this manifestation, this new phase of your life, this new journey to start. But you have the wisdom to listen to that still small voice, to listen to your intuition. This is a great work to break week to break out the journal and do some journaling work. Maybe write down what it is that you wish for in its full form for this journey. Sometimes just by visualizing it, you can gain clues as to what the next best move will be. So I'm sending you so much love and hoping that this week really is a productive one for you. Just be patient and kind to yourself along the way. I know it's hard when you're at the new start not to just leap in, but follow your intuition, pace yourself, and certainly what is yours will come to you. Bye for now.